Hey guys! Now you guys probably noticed I got a haircut and you're right, I did get a haircut. So let's get out of that out of the way and yeah. And today I am going to go ahead and get you guys uh, a baby freeze tutorial. A lot of you guys um, already may know this, like the turtle freeze. But again, this is for the new people that have subscribed to me or just the new people that just search up this video so I guess there's nothing more left to say and let's get started okay so before we start uh, I want to get you guys familiar with some b-boy terminology uh, there's gonna be a lot of e-boys out there that may say that there is a difference to this to this, to this, to let's say this. They're all the same thing. Those are all baby freeze, okay guys? Let's not make up names so we end up with a huge dictionary of terms, okay? Let's just stick to anything being along the lines of this, 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 as a baby freeze. Now, well, here, let me show you an example, because I don't want to sound like I'm, like, crazy or something, because I've seen videos where people do this, and they're calling that, like, the reverse, air, like, the reverse baby freeze or something. That, it's still a baby freeze, guys, come on. And this has a baby freeze cross. Let's just call it a baby freeze. It's all easy enough, right? So, anyway start, I'm just going to say that I'm right-handed when I do my freezes. So if you're left-handed, of course, you can do the opposite. Now, when I learned it, I learned it by doing this. So I sat in this position, you know, just regular, like that. Now I'm right here. I put my right leg out, and then I put my uh, left hand on my right knee. So it's going to look something like this. Okay. Now, when you uh, put your left hand on your right knee, you're going to be somewhat on top of it. Like, you see this right here? You're going to be on top of it. You're not going to be stabbed on your elbow, but on top. So you're going to be here, right? You're here. You're going to go on top of it. So, otherwise, you could just do this. Okay? But now, we need the other hand, your actual stabbing hand in there. So, imagine the same thing for your front arm with your back arm. So you know how the, uh, the right knee is on top of the left hand? What you want to do is get your uh, hip on top of your right arm. You're not going to stab into it, but you're going to stab over it and get in a good position. So, so right here, we're going to go on top of the left on top of the left arm we go on top of the right arm and this is where people might get scared they might think oh if I lean over too far I'll smash my face and on the floor but just learn to take it slow and maybe put a pillow even if you're that scared and just tip over so you go left hand down right put your right knee over it and then you go you put your right hand down put your hip over it and you're going to be in this position, and you just tip over, okay? Now, many of you might have a trouble with this in the beginning because your wrists are weak, because you just started. So, what you really need to just do is maybe go back to your, like, fundamentals and just go here and just watch TV doing this to get your wrist stronger, or watch TV doing a chair freeze to get stronger, you know, all that really helps, all that helps a lot, so that's, that's, the, that's my answer to everyone that says, how do I get my wrist stronger, just do those two positions watching television. Now if you don't know those, I'm probably going to have those moves in my channel, so go look it up, okay. So we got this down, right, left hand, right knee over it. Right hand, hip over that, and we tip over. Okay? So, 
Now, you're probably wondering how you do all this stuff. Well, it's just a matter of imagination and, <clears throat> like, you know, just put your own style in it. Don't, don't be like, oh, I gotta do that one, or I gotta do that one, or I gotta do that one. Do whatever feel comfortable, well, do what feels comfor comfortable to you and make sure that you take everything slow and safe, alright? Just, you're here, here, you got this option. I don't know what I'm doing right now. But, as you see, like, anywhere you move your legs, it'll look okay. Alright, so that's the end of the video. And if you liked it, go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's somewhere on top. Or if you already subscribed, you know, just give me the thumbs up on the bottom of the video. And, yeah, that's basically about it. So, just stay tuned. There's going to be more tutorials. So, I'll just see you guys later.